Hey, it's time for a fluffy. Fluffy is here. I am here. I'm a Russian man who brings value through my own experience. Uh, experience. And my name is Igor. I learn English language on this channel. You can subscribe or uh, comment this video if you want to know something about Russia more. If you have questions about Russia, like how to live in Russia, and I will answer to your question in my new video because this channel is about collection of my learning routine, of learning English, of learning new stuff, and sharing information to you to be like available to you. I learn English on this channel through watching videos, I learn English through speaking and I share interesting facts about Russia too. And my goal on this channel to be proficient in English and uh, to move to another country's English speaking countries. Okay, let's go watching. Thank you so much for joining to us. Have a good day by the way. Let's go watching. One night, I got 11 cakes. 11. And I took them home because I was local. <laughs> One moment. Cakes. 11. 11. And I took them home because I was local. Local, it means that he was uh, like in a local distance or what? And I took them home because I was local. <laughs> and that's a fight no one has ever had at 3 o'clock in the morning. No one. Because you don't just walk into the house with 11 cakes. You make some noise, you know, freaking... <laughs> I like impressions of, of him. And I walk in with the last two cakes and my girlfriend's in the kitchen. What the hell is this? I'm trying to be cute. It's a bakery. <laughs> Where did you get this cake? The people at the show brought it, baby. Are you gonna eat all of it? Well, eventually. <laughs> I'm not gonna do it in one hit, you know, freaking two days later, clear. <laughs> How do you know someone isn't trying to poison you? I'm like, with cake? Are you serious? What is it like? You live by the cake, you die by the cake, you know? <laughs> live by the cake, you die by the cake. Uh, I mean that you live for... for a taste, for a taste of cake. And what it's like, you live by the cake? What, what does it mean, live by the cake? It is something like... Uh, specific phrase maybe in English it is like an item and I don't understand it fully maybe it is like a leaf living for granted or something like that okay like you live by the cake you die by the cake you know <laughs> mm. no so we're going back and forth arguing at three o'clock in the morning we wake up our kid and here he comes into the kitchen <laughs> Oppa. Where did the cake come from? From the, the heavens. The show brought it. Tell them I said thank you. <laughs> I'll tell them you said thank you. How come they give you cake? Because 10 years ago, I did a joke where I said, I love chocolate cake, and now people give me cake. You should say you love Transformers. <laughs> <laughs> and then people will... Uh, will... Uh, will... Exchange joke to Transformer toys. I'll start doing it. <laughs> So we're going back and forth. My girl's like, put him to bed. I go, you gotta go to sleep, Frankie. And he's like, mm -hmm. well, you want some cake? Yeah. yeah. So I grabbed one of the 11 cakes that someone brought. It was like a little one, little Walmart one with the plastic cover and the sticker and the seal. So I knew it was cool. So I was a little cake and I handed it to him. I go, here. He goes, a piece? I go, no, dude, it's a little cake. You could have the whole thing. And the look that came over his face was like he got a gift from God. <laughs> Okay. I said here, and he's like, oh, he, he, he. "Is this uh, child happiness?" Take it to your room. No man, padre. I like uh, his um, like uh, acting game. Gabriel Iglesias uh, tells stories. And he does it uh, with a good acting game. He tells simple and so like uh, maybe uh, obvious and so uh, ordinary stories with uh, extraordinary type of storytelling. It is good. It is a good thing, by the way. Next morning, I go to take him to school. He's in the bathroom crying, right? 
You okay? My stomach. Oh, Jesus. Too much cake? Yeah. Was it good? Hell yeah. Hell yeah. We meet you in the car. 15 minutes later, he comes out to the car. He's all sweaty. And <laughs> get in the car and... <laughs> 45 minutes late to school. Usually when I drop him off, it's like on the side of the school, 10 minutes early or right on the dot. It's nice, they set up cones. There's a supervisor to make sure your kid gets out of the car okay. But when you're late, there's nobody there. So I figured why leave him on the side of the school? I'll just drop him off in front. And you're not supposed to do that. I didn't know and I didn't really care. And We're something late. happened. <laughs> Okay, bro, I'm not so... Just go! So he cracks the okay. door, and from out of nowhere, here comes the principal. Principal. Principal, it is uh, like a king of a school. That's who it is, because he's losing it. It's the principal! It's the principal! It's the principal! I'm like, dude, relax. I'm 32. I don't give a damn! Damn! <laughs> here comes the principal. Sir! Sir! This is not the designated drop-off area. Please take your child to the other side of the school. You cannot leave him here. I was like, watch this. Señora, no sé lo que está diciendo. Está dejando a mi hijo aquí. Aquí va la escuela. Su mamá no se levantó. Yo no sé. It's something That's how you Mexican. do it, homeboy. That's how you do it. That principal was amazing because she was like, Usted no puede dejar su hijo aquí. Saca la vuelta a la otra lado de la escuela. Puto. Allá sí, sí, aquí no, no. Allá sí, sí, aquí no, no. Yo no soy pendeja. Hmm. Finally, I think that uh, something happened that uh, it was uh, not really a nice end. It was not happy ending. It was uh, like a moment with... Uh, in total, truth, truth won the situation. Like, uh, me, this is story without ending. Ending was like a principal said, no, 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 on, uh, on a language of Latino people. Yes, on Espanol. And uh, we can only imagine what can go further. Yes. We can only imagine maybe there were crocodiles that ate this child. Maybe it was something else. But uh, in total it is good story, good storytelling. And uh, maybe if I could understand Espanol, then uh, it will be more understandable and comprehensible to me. And maybe I... I could laugh because of this story. But the story is good, nice, nice acting, nice impressions. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed. If you want, you can subscribe, like I said before, and uh, then I will try to understand one more video. Please recommend your videos if you are interested. See you next time. Bye bye.